with winter approaching, you can imagine all of our excitement when all of the pieces finally arrived so we could hook up our wood burning stove. So the first thing that Daddy Bear did here was get the wall measured for cutting out the space that the wall thimbles were going to go into. We found the inside elbow for $25 and the inside and outside wall thimble sold together as one for $65. So in total, we were able to get the piping out of the wall for under $100 and all of the items were found on Amazon. Now, if you've ever installed your own wood-burning stove or fireplace, you will know the cost associated with the piping to ensure you install it safely so that you don't have any fire hazards. A quick Google search will show you the cost of some of these pre-insulated fire-resistant options that are ready to install and we are all about saving money trying to build this house for as little as we can so everywhere we can we're trying to find the best budget way to do this and the daddy bear did some research and found through some videos on youtube and doing some reading that you can actually insulate these pipes yourself for significantly less money So apparently, after watching YouTube videos and doing research, we found that you can create your own insulated piping for much cheaper. So that's what we're doing here. Same thing. And we have, you know, probably $60 invested as opposed to 400. Right. So we'll also be recreating this pipe to extend over the roof, which would put us at a total investment of about $120 with the piping and the insulation. And that's versus the pre-made pipes they offer that you would pay in the upwards of eight or $900 for. So here we're using unfaced R19 fiberglass insulation to stuff the piping. The hardware store sells this four foot, eight inch section of snap together duct pipe for $17. Now certainly do not quote us on that price because we know that prices are going up by the minute. So going on the inside, we have two two foot, six inch pipes. So total four feet at about $15 each.
Bango. We have a standard six inch tee for clean out. We found on Amazon for under 20 bucks. And that is compared to the pre-insulated tees for chimneys that are about 150 to $200 alone. So one of the struggles was trying to figure out how to get the insulation in without stuffing all of it down this long pipe. And uh, as you can see, it was a little bit of a clown show until we realized that the zip ties were the best way to do it. So zip ties for the win. So we decided to get it hung to test how it burns as well as how the tension wire that we opted to go with for mounting on the side of the house was going to work. We do still have an extension pipe to add to go up over the top of the house there. Before we could get a fire going, of course, we had to chop up some wood and we got that boy to work. Ready, move, Tegan. Yeah, try right. We are the best tree. There we go. There we go. I can do it. I'll get the next one. Subscribe to our channel, Fifi. As you may imagine, after four years in the RV, this feels like heaven. Having our fireplace warm and heat our new tiny home. And yet another project going on is the siding is going up. We got this siding on Facebook a few years ago, under $200, and it's finally going up. We do plan on finishing all of it and getting it painted around the springtime, so stay tuned for that. As if this guy doesn't have enough going on, he's also working on building the foundation up to complete and finish off the foundation for the house. So we do plan on having that completed sometime in the spring or summer. So living in the RV allowed us to build this house basically paycheck to paycheck rather than making a mortgage or a rent payment. So we finally sat down after the last four years and put all of the numbers together and currently we are sitting right under 13000 We do have some more to spend to finish the house so we hope you guys will stick around. Um, we've got the bathroom completion, we've got to finish our kitchen and the living area as well. So we hope you'll stick around. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.